Interviews in a new 700 page report shine new light tonight on the Spokane Sheriff's deputy who shot and killed the Spokane Valley man. Deputy Brian Herzl shot plant farmer owner Scott Creech last month during a confrontation in the plant farm parking lot. KXOI 4's Tori Brunetti poured over the pages in that report and has new details in the investigation. Our primary concern in this was again, I know you can hear me say this several times, was to do a thorough, competent, fair, complete investigation. And so that was the, the overriding concern. A thorough investigation done on what started out as an ordinary Wednesday night. For Brian Herzl, his shift started like any other around 530. As Herzl was starting his shift, Pastor Scott Creech was eating dinner and getting ready to go to church. About six hours later, after what had been an uneventful Wednesday night, those ordinary evenings collided. Minutes after 11, Herzl parked his car in the parking lot of Creech's nursery. In one of three interviews Herzl did with investigators, he said he was writing a report when he saw Creech walking towards his car from behind. He says Creech had a gun at his side and immediately believed he was in imminent danger. Still seated in his patrol car, Herzl pulled out his gun and pointed it at Creech. Herzl told police investigators he told Creech in an assertive voice five or six times to drop the gun. Creech responded by saying, I don't have to because he's had things stolen. Seconds later, Creech started to back up, putting the gun in his waistband. Herzl got out of the car, and that is when he says he struck Creech in the leg with his baton. A large part of the investigation focused on whether or not Herzl even hit Creech with the baton like he says he did. There is no forensic evidence of the baton strike on the baton or on Creech's body. Investigators repeatedly asked Herzl why he waited so long to call for backup. Herzl said he viewed Creech as a direct threat, calling him angry and defiant, and says he couldn't call for backup when he initially saw Creech without taking his hand off the gun. We also learned Herzl was not driving his normal vehicle that night. His car smelled horribly at the beginning of his shift, so he switched to another car. He also told police he did not know how to use the CPR mask in that car, so no aid was administered until medics arrived on scene.